Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we're searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle of our mission. No, I haven't found it yet. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. Bravo team went to the hideout of the group and disappeared. Look, Chris! It was Bravo team's helicopter. Nobody was in it. But strangely, most of the equipment was still there. However, we soon discovered why. Chris Redfield. Jill Valentine. Mary Burton. Rebecca Chambers. Albert Wesker. Resident Evil. What is this? Wow, what a mansion! Wesker, where's Chris? Stop it! Don't open that door! But Chris is... What is it? Maybe it's Chris. Now, Jill, can you go? I'm going with you. Chris is our old partner, you know. Okay, let me handle this. Stay alert! A dining room. Wow. 
What? What is this? What is it? Blood. Jill, see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Hope this is not Chris's blood. Barry? What is it? Watch out! It's a monster! Let me take care of this. What is it? Kenneth was killed too. Maybe by this creature. Anyway, let's report this to Wesker. Wesker! Help me look for him, Jill. And don't leave this hall for the time being. Find anything, Jill? Nothing. What is this all about? I can't figure it out at all. Beats me, too. Now it's Wesker's time to disappear. I don't know what's going on. Well, it can't be helped. Let's search for him separately. I'll check the dining room again. Okay. I'll try the door on the opposite side. This mansion is gigantic. We could get into trouble if we get lost. We should start from the first floor, okay? And... Jill, here's a lockpick. It might be handy if you, the master of unlocking, take it with you. Thanks. Maybe I'll need it. Listen, if something happens, let's meet up in this hall. This time, I'll be there.
try this and let's see if it works now because it could be that just it's not getting the channel the audio channel that it needs all right that seems to have fixed it thank you all right so screw everything i said so far <laughs> let's start from the beginning Oh, how do I do that? Yes, thank you. Because why wouldn't I? I'm also the master of mapping, so I don't need a map. Alright. Oh yeah, okay. So I have mixed memories of the remake and this version now. So, okay, it's safe here. This guy is going to be sleeping as long as we don't step on him. Which, I mean, if somebody stepped on me while I was sleeping, I would also be aggressive, so I don't mind. I'm not gonna hold it against him. Just keep doing your thing, dude. It's okay. Alright. Uh, let's check the pictures. Oh yeah, one thing um, one thing that's, that's gonna be kind of weird for me too, uh, kind of new, is that some of the text Probably not much, but some of the text has been changed from the um, in the director's cut version compared to this one. So this all seems nothing to bother about. This all seems the same, nothing unusual. Because yeah, with all all of that going outside, that is not unusual. Beautiful painting, beautiful scenery. I mean, show me the pictures if they're beautiful. Don't just talk about them. Oh, a chubby woman, okay. Oh yeah, okay, it's been a long time. Basically what I said in the beginning is I haven't played this version of Resident Evil, uh, the, the original first game since 1999, I think, and like I can, I can go with, uh, with less ink ribbon, I think you get about, or exactly 33% less ink ribbon in this version compared to the original Japanese one and uh, director's cut and you also get less ammo in, at least in some places I think and you know all that's fine but it's the lack of auto aim that just scares the hell out of me because you know I can take the zombies they're slow like as a kid I would have to kill each one of them uh, but hunters <laughs> I, I dread that moment like, I love hunters in this game, but now he's become a mere shadow of his former self. I mean, <laughs> in a way. Alright, at least he had some ammo on him. What does she do? Oh, there's more? No way. Awesome, Kenneth. Your usefulness is duly noted. Anything else? Well, not bad, not bad, Kenneth. Good start. So, I got a lockpick, right? I, could, I think I could do that. Yeah, I could do that. I could do that. If that door is unlocked with the lockpick, the one down the hole I was just in, I remember it being the lockpick, so let's see. God, I gotta, gotta get rid of the knife and the first aid spray. Because right, right now I'm playing like Chris with Two less inventory space than I should have. All right. Yes, it is a lockpick. All right. Oh, that's good. I remember, like as a kid, I would usually get this key a lot later for some reason. Wait, yeah, that could be the reason, like filling up my inventory space. But also, like, the first time I was doing this puzzle, <laughs> I think this was, I got this key as late as I could in order to progress with the game, because I, for some reason, not sure if I didn't find the music notes or didn't get that I need to switch the emblems, because I was like, yeah, there were two emblems, what the hell. So, music notes. 
Oh, okay, you don't open it. That's that's not in this game. And also the controls are weird. X is confirmed, square is back. And I think the director Scott uses like the usual Western PlayStation configuration where you'd use triangle to go back. Play that again, Sham. I'm not even sure if that's like the real Moonlight Serana. I think they changed it in one of the games. Of course, there's also the Dual Shock version, which. God, <laughs> let's not talk about that. <laughs> like, great that they uh, incorporated uh, the analog sticks, that is really good, but the music I just can't know. <laughs> what, you know, the, the, there are some tracks that, are, that maybe even come off as better, but those that don't, they spoil, they spoil it for like all of them. All right, gold emblem, that's what we need. Oh, what will I do now? I love that you can see the, the adjacent room. The Well, it's not a room. It is a room. It's like, I don't know, uh, a greenhouse? Not really. A room full of plants. I guess where the Spencers went when they wanted to have a good time. <laughs> Okay. Run, Jill, run. God, the music in this game. So, it's like... In our heads, I think it's forever tied to this mansion. Like, that instantly brings, conjures images of the Spencer hallways. And we've effectively bricked the clock. <laughs> but we got a key. Is it gonna say something about it? It's not running anymore. Okay, key number one. This is. I'm gonna go on a limb and guess it's. the shield key? You have to turn them around, that detail is like, took me a while to... Yeah, it is the shield key, bravo me. <laughs> Good memory. I'm not sure if it's the shield key in the remake now as well, but... Of a woman, and that's it. <laughs> no descriptors on that woman. She doesn't deserve them. Okay, there could be an ink ribbon here. Is there? All right. So yeah, we seem to be getting just two ink ribbons per like stock, whatever. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that in all the other versions you'd get three, uh, unless you're playing on the hard mode or something. So we have the shield key. Wait, I have the map. I haven't even looked at it. We have the shield key, solve the puzzle, so we're gonna go to the east wings and dance with some Cerberuses? Cerberuses? <laughs> Cerberite? Cerberite, yes, thank you. You have used the lockpick. You, master of unlocking you. Oh, I'm not sure. I think the first one's gonna jump behind me, so let's... Since I don't have auto-aim, I'm just gonna crutch it. Gotta be faster than it. So she is soft to the dog's bite. Is it? Yeah. Okay. As long as the, there's one in front of me, everything's cool. <laughs> cool. It's okay. Come on, die, you dogodile. Okay. Uh, is there some ammo here? Nope. Running, running. Okay, this one's gonna be in front for sure. 11 bullets, that's gonna stop him for sure. Okay. Hello. I'm just walking by slowly. Minding my. Oh, there you are. Gonna eat a sandwich in between bullets. Stop right there. 
This is dog police. Okay. We got another clip. Okay, this is making me feel more comfortable. The more bullets, the more comfortable I feel in these old Resident Evil games, because because of all obvious reasons. That's it here, right? Creepy stuff. Like skulls and stuff that you just keep in a in a hallway. It's not even a room, it's just a hallway, like a gallery, I guess. Hallway. Oh, hello, Jill. I think this is the like the Cl the, the closest camera in the entirety of the game. Do I do that now? Let's do it. Let's do it, why not? Yes, I will take the green herb bone. Okay. It's locked. Carving of armor. Once I have, once, like, very soon I'll have a full suit of armor of keys. Maybe one less with her. I know Chris finds small keys because he does. He's not the master of unlocking. He's just master of shooting and being bitten and hit and you know generally taking damage. But nothing useful. Not even the toilet is useful. Um, but I don't know. I think that generally it's. It should be in some way easier to play with Chris. Like being able to carry less health and just be less scared for your life. But carrying just six things, that's that's not good. Especially if you like to collect everything like me. I don't even the bullets near the end of the game, I'll be like, damn it, I could have taken those bullets. Is there an ink ribbon here? No. I'm not gonna go for the Jill sandwich scene because I don't know, I just wanna use the broken shotgun. It's one of my favorite Resident Evil items. Just broken shotgun. <laughs> Nothing else in the in the whole house. Like she could have just rolled the carpet and, and put it on those hooks or whatever. All right, there should be two zombies here, or should there? Like everything I say, I'm I'm not 100% sure of the things I'm saying because things are different. So are you dead? Are you bleeding out? Nope. God damn it! Down, boy. No, I hate when that happens. Count the bullets. Okay, they're both still alive, it would seem. Too close. Should have made some room between us. So, are you down or not? Are you bleeding? I can't see. It's too dark. Yep, that was was alive. Now, dead. Anybody who's not dead, just raise your hand. I'm not gonna hold a grudge. I just want to know. No? No? Okay then. Wait, do I have... I have just one... One space. Let's get go to that... Uh, what was here? I think helmet. Let's go to the first item box. Carving of a helmet. Yep. That's a long way. Oh, okay. One way locked doors. Oh, hello. Oh, yeah, they really fixed, like, they, they really improved uh, upon the zombie sounds in later games. Are you dead? Why can't I see when they bleed out? It used to be so much easier. One, two, okay, down boy. Are you dead now? Seems, yeah, he's bleeding, definitely. Do you have a pal hiding here around the corner? Should I, should I walk him backwards? Just in case. No? Okay. Excellent. I know there are, I think, two. There are two zombies up there. I'm not gonna go up there yet. Also, not gonna go get the bazooka before I get the herbicide because I love, I really love the cutscene on the balcony when they find forest and <laughs> berries come. And the way that just Barry says, 
Oh my god, it's forest. They're just, yeah, I don't have enough room. That's one of my favorite tubs ever. <laughs> but I would prefer successive rounds. And I'm not sure if you can get both, so I'm gonna do that. Oh, excellent. Wesker seems to have left some clips for me. And they don't they don't combine. Lovely. I think that was also fixed later. So let's keep some kind of an OCD lineup here. So we'll have knife, pistol, ammo, shotgun, ammo, bazooka, ammo, ammo, ammo. And that's not what I want to put there. But still. Okay, so I need at least something like that. Can I combine them on there? I haven't tried on that, like while I'm in the item box. Maybe I can combine them all there. I don't think so. No, it just gave me like the move action and... Thank you, Hub Biscuit. All right. Beretta. Ammo. Key. No health. That's probably risky, but no, not gonna do it. I haven't played this in a long time, can't play with my life like that. So everything I need is here, everything I don't isn't. And I need the herbicide now. Will you take the chemical? Mix it with the weeds and have some fun. Earth. Chemical to kill the weeds. <laughs> Does it say Earth? I, I think it says Earth. Not sure. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. Garden tools. Nothing useful. Well, you've taken what's, you know, anything that's useful. So the item box is useful. Is there some, is there an ink ribbon here? No. It's so far away, just behind me, that box. I couldn't possibly reach it. The scary door. All right. Oh yeah, in this game, I think this lock isn't broken. Nope. That is good, that is good, that is good. Can I get it here? Yeah. Yes, I can, apparently. I'm not sure which doors are locked or unlocked. And about the keys. Oh yeah, there are crows in this room. And something that took me like probably 10 playthroughs to figure out as a kid is they're not gonna attack you if you just don't shoot. They're very lazy crows. Give me, yeah, this has been changed. So the way I know this room, and I know it because <laughs> it took me a while to figure out the puzzle. This is where I learned words like infant and I think bold and something like that uh, cradle and grave well probably new grave but cradle so the picture was called from cradle to from cradle to grave yes in the director's cut version and that kind of fits better in my opinion well thank you <laughs> yeah, thank you Verena. <laughs> that is lovely a picture of a tired middle-aged man. There's a switch below. Will you push it? Nope. He's tired in his middle age. So, hello, crows. Don't mind me. I'm just so newborn baby. Basically, what we need to do here is order them from youngest to oldest. Well, to the dead apparently. Uh, and what I was what I was saying is that the director's cut version is more clear with the puzzle. Uh, it literally says from cradle to grave, and that makes sense once you know those words, what those words mean. Uh, but this one is kind of, just uh, just doesn't fit well. I don't know, probably because I love the other one. An infant. There we go. A toddler. Lively boy. I think that he would go next. Yes. Lively boy. Then we have the young man on the other side. Can I run? I'm not sure. Let's see. Hope they're not pissed at me for running. Yes, hello, hello. Now there was a young man just 
Wait, young man. I guess he's next. Probably should have checked what the other two were, but I think it's just yeah, an old man, bald-looking old man. Yes, and this here should be it. Give me the piece of death, and I'll give you the joy of life. That just doesn't sound as good. Oh god, nope. I can't believe I... They actually activate on that? Wow, it's been a long time since I played this. <gasps> no, 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 just ignore me. No, my eyes are not breathing. Are they going to be aggressive the next time I enter? <gasps> Joe G, Rick. Well, let's try that again. God. Wow, those are some like alert crows. They just want you to know the <laughs> the flow of life. If you don't know that, okay, they seem to have settled down. Yeah. Okay, let's do that again. What did I do wrong? Let's start with the newborn baby. Where's the newborn baby? There's the newborn baby. There's a switch. Will you push it? Yes. Okay. Then infant, because can't go pretty much anywhere else. Young man. Okay, yeah, that's what I missed. I thought I pushed it. Okay, no, 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 no. Now goes an infant. Yes, then the lively boy. She's here, I think. Yes. Okay, at least I know where I messed up. Yes, I guess I'll do them in order. Don't worry. Nice crows, young man, then the middle-aged man. They dedicated, they dedicated way more pictures to like the younger part of life. It's like you have all of these ages and then you're middle-aged, then you're old and you're dead. <laughs> okay, and then it's the Old man. Yes. Is that it? The end of life. All right. Okay. The best train crows and train photos <laughs> ever. Okay. They're not gonna get pissed if I take this, just if I mess up the, the order. Maybe they're, maybe, I guess they, they would just electrocute them. The, the, the lighting frame they're standing on, I guess they would just go zap a bit and then crows would go crazy. But it's not of, nice of them that they um, settle down once you <laughs> exit the room. Okay, she's gone. Okay, let's everybody back to their places, waiting for another zap. I can use that straight away. Gee, I remember doing this like totally different uh, when I was younger. So far, it's not as scary and hard as I thought it would. Oh, there's a doggy there. I'll just stand in the ready position and wait for him because I have no idea if he's far enough. Maybe just sting him a little. Yep, that seemed to work. Just one of them, okay. That makes it a lot easier. Just wait for him to growl. He's still alive. Okay, not alive anymore. I'm good so far with the ammo, but I know it can, like, before I get the shotgun, before I get to the guardhouse, it can just disappear. <laughs> A few fights and there you go. Okay. When the sun sets in the west and the moon rises in the east, stars will begin to appear in the sky and wind will blow towards the ground. Then the gate of new life will open. So it has been foretold. <laughs> Imagine the hassle, like every time you want to leave the house, you got to do all that to open the doors. 
And who reset the puzzles in the first way? Like, if all the scientists were in this array, were they just like, yeah, zombies will never figure this shit out. Let's just hide everything around the house. Okay, nothing here. Oh, yeah, that's the helmet one. Okay, so we have the chemical, we have the key, we have everything we need. Not gonna go upstairs. Because there's at least, there's two, I think two, just above the stairs. And um, I think one or two in the hallway beyond. And that's not something I want to do right now. Though it would open the shortcut, but this is the armor key, right? Yeah. Would open the shortcut, but screw it. I'm not, <laughs> not taking any chances. Because there, there are a few of them on the other side of the house where I want to go right now with this herbicide. Herbicide? The plant murderer. Slowly open the door, but do not peek beyond them <laughs> as you do that, because that will spoil the fun. By the way, I haven't... Uh, oh, there we go, I got Barry. the cutscene. Barry! You're here, Jerry. and I wasn't in trouble. What's going on? Any clues? No, but something's wrong with this house. <laughs> with oh, the house. <laughs> sure. This hall is dangerous. This hall. Maybe it's better to secure our escape route first. The hall there isn't dangerous, it's the only safe place. Somewhere. Let's try to find it first, shall we? Thank okay. you, Zerlena. <laughs> Let's separate again. Just a moment. I Just a moment. Something. What is it? It's a weapon. Oh. It's really powerful. Oh. Especially against living things. Oh. Better take it with you. Oh. But how about you, Barry? I have this. Thank <laughs> you. I'll take this then. Well, Mag the Magnum is the strongest weapon. So, yeah, he's, he's good. Barry is totally good, provided he has the ammo. So, acid rounds, that's why I didn't go to get the bazooka first. Bazooka. It's not even a bazooka, but okay. Goodbye, Jill. Ooh, but I might just might possibly have crows now there that's a slight possibility oh well i think i wouldn't i would they wouldn't be there if i went in first before coming back here with the herbicide i think if i went to the balcony first just barry would be there with his hilarious tone <laughs> Apparently, I've climbed up. So, two spaces, enough for a bazooka and any herbs that might be outside. Oh, that music. Yeah. Oh, God, I love this. Yeah. Chris would find... Yeah, Chris would find a small key here. Bloody, bloody, bloody. I hope this blood isn't from my teammates. But actually from someone else's teammates. Oh yeah, I hear them, yeah. Uh, so acid rounds or a bunch of crows. How am I health-wise? Okay, they haven't pulled my eye out just then, so... Do I check for it? Yeah, I'll check. It's forest! Oh my god! He's been pecked to death by crows. Ah! Let's move, Jill, move! Just close your eyes and run. <laughs> run to the door. I'll guide you. Just blind. Run, 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 run. Yeah, that's good. That was good. So, both eyes intact. We're moving on. That blood was apparently forest blood. You know, if Barry were there, were here, he would have probably just sniffed it or licked it or whatever he did to, I guess, Kenneth's blood. What, what were we doing? Yeah, we were looking for Chris. Like, I don't, I don't think I think about Chris twice <laughs> during this game when I'm playing with um, with Jill. 
screw that guy. Wait, what? Oh, there's two of them. Shit, 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 shit. I did not expect that. Okay, he's not smart enough to run efficiently forward. He's alive, as you can see by me kicking him. No, stay away! I only belong to Chrissy. Now, is he alive? How can I know? God, if, if I had auto-aim, that would have been a piece of cake. Do I risk my ankle or a bullet? Let's go with a bullet. He's dead, Jim. Okay, you guy. Stop right there. Slowly. Okay. He's not gonna take six more bullets, I think. That was too soon. He didn't give me time to prepare. I think her reaction should tell me if he's alive, but she should go like <gasps> when, like backpedaling like that uh, if they're still alive. Should test it with one of them, if I remember. Jill Valentine, master of unlocking breaker of art. Screw that statue, I need that diamond by a sapphire I could have easily taken, but this is easier. <laughs> also the Spencers, like the, well the Spencers, like they're a family, it's like Spencer. <laughs> Seem to have left a, a hole in that fence for, like, if anybody ever needs to push the statue, yeah, you can do it here. Is there a, is there someone here? Oh, guy. To just run past them. I'm not even sure if it pays out to pays off to kill him. Oh, don't stand up. Just the point of this is for you to keep on lying. He lost his hand. Fall down. Yes. Nice and easy. Provided he's dead, I'm gonna reset the room so I can kill the other guy. Are you dead? It's that looks like a blood. Yeah, he's dead. Okay, you guy, go back to your place. <laughs> As I'm opening door, you can just hear. Okay, uh, the shot was ruined. Everybody, back to your places. We're starting again. Hello. If I could just go around him, but I'm not confident enough in Jill's like dodging skills. So let's just wait for him where it's safe and I have a good camera angle. I'll just chill out here. Oh yeah, don't mind me at all. Oof. Need more ammo. Maybe I could totally go around him. He doesn't seem smart enough to just even get to me. Yeah, I'm here. One more. Round one, zombie down. Don't get up. Like, can you? Can one of you just stay down after that ground shot? Yeah, he's bleeding out. Whew. Anybody here? Yeah, this is helmet as well. Yep. And this is lock from the other side. Oh no, a numeric key panel. I don't know if this happens, like, I think Resident Evil 1 is the best when it comes to like, you can't, the meta playing, you can't, you're, you can't do what your character doesn't know about, you can't enter, a, you can't guess a password here, she has to know it. And there's another part, I remember down the, uh, sometime later, where you also can't uh, do it. Um, unless your character has learned how to do that specific thing. And that's something I like. Even if you have a walkthrough, it's still gonna be, a, yeah, your character doesn't know that, you can't do that. So we need that, we're kinda, I don't wanna say, why, actually, why not? I never do this, I'm gonna be brave now. I'm gonna start using the bazooka on these guys right away. One, two, four, five. No, actually, that's not good like that. So, Shotgun, 10, 10, 10, there. 
One herb. There's gonna be more down there. If I can get there, which I'll find out real soon. So let's say for now, let's leave it here. Okay, the key, the bazooka. I'm gonna have the broken shotgun soon, probably. But let's see. Not even sure if I can enter the room where I uh, get the other key and uh, and the broken shotgun, the other room. Two more ink ribbon. Okay, it's not that bad. So uh, unless, unless you're saving every time you get to a safe room, you're not gonna be running out of ink ribbon completely. But it's still scary that A, <laughs> there's less of it, and B, items don't combine. I forgot about that. How did I? Like, it's been a really long time. Just new memories, I guess, replace the old ones. Okay. Yeah, I don't need anything else for now, I think. Let's use this on these guys. I could run around them, but I don't want to think about that. Do I? I could run at least around some of them. Now, let's just... Let's take at least one down. Slowly turn towards him, uh, provided I'm aiming at him, I don't even know. She, okay, he doesn't see me, I guess. Uh, five more, yeah, I'm not gonna be needed that soon. I, I would use the, oh, okay, for a second I thought I was gonna miss. I would use the um, acid rounds on Yawn anyway, on the huge snake, so I remember you looking always back okay that's the key that I'm about to get Ooh. I think there's a guy here yeah not fast enough bye hopefully he's not smart enough to jump me <laughs> when I open the door Yeah, yeah, not going there. So that thing's gonna hurt me if I uh, get closer. It's some kind of a mutated plan. So I'm gonna use this on the pump. And that should take care of that. Oh, for a second, I got, yeah. In the remake, you can actually also kill the green herbs that grow here. But yeah, I don't think I can do that here. Yeah, I'm dead. All right. What does it say about an old pump? Water seems to be sent from here. The lid is open. Let's take the key first. No, actually, why would I do that? Let's take the herbs first because they can be combined. Oh, that's the room. So that's the room where we found the uh, the uh, gold emblem that's right next to the piano room okay okay let's take a red herb and can I aim at the green one um, the depth perception is kind of wonky in this game just sometimes you're not sure if something's like if you're standing in front of something or not but still I that's that's looking at it today back when it came out it was there was nothing like it really do I want to mix them yeah I mean always always mix the green and red herbs why not why not yes I will take it okay There. Well, that makes me feel even safer. So, lot of, lots of herbs and lots of ammo makes me feel safe. Oh, don't do that to me. Yeah, I shouldn't have brought the bazooka. So I can either like mix two of green, which I don't feel like doing, or... In order to get the key, I'll do it. That hurts me slightly, but okay. 
it's good for when I'm in danger as in the status currently I'm fine and dandy yes I'll take the mansion key as the master of unlocking you don't even have to ask that just like here's the key carving of armor of armor that's all the herbs what's here I wonder what would be there on the map oh just like behind the house okay yeah that makes sense and now we're peeking through the scary door Oh, got out from that guy, yeah. That's why I like killing them all, so I don't have to think about, like, oh, was there a guy here or there? Or... Can I outrun this guy? I should be able, yeah, easily. Okay, I'll leave that guy here, just like. So he can tell all the others, like, uh, given the example of, <laughs> of his former two friends from this room. Let's stockpile some herbs. Nope. So the way I do this, I order them like from the strongest healing item to the weakest one. And that makes it easier for like to know generally where's what. There's gonna be yeah, I'm gonna need one bazooka for the guy in the closet, yeah the <laughs> the guy from the diary. Let's outrun the corner guy. Like, if he takes one chomp at me, I'll kill him. I will not forgive that. Wait, I'm un unlocking the door. That's, that's a very unfortunate positioning. <laughs> for me, not for him. All right, there it is. Oh, more ammo. Okay, I don't. I do not regret entering here. The more ammo, the more stable the heartbeat. Will you take the broken shotgun? Yes, I will. Why wouldn't I? Okay, check. It's too dangerous to fire. Does it have another use? Well, yeah, it does to skip the. Jill sandwich scene. Yeah, you can zoom things here. That's before. So Resident Evil One, you can like view the three D models of items, which is just amazing for details like this, for flipping the keys to to you know to check what what's their sigil or whatever. And like Resident Evil Two and Three completely just tossed that out of the window, and it always baffled me why. It was such a good mechanic. Like, whatever you check in those two games, it's like, yeah, it has this on this side. I just checked it everywhere for you. You shouldn't have. I like doing this on my own. I love it. Yes, okay, one... I think I can do this with current inventory slots. Um, there's going to be another shotgun pack I think shotgun ammo so let's see if that yeah I think the 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 keeper from the diary is keeping the shells oh can I yeah oh, that was brave so many lockpick open do Chris has the sword key that's right I just remembered so some of the lockpick doors will use uh, the small keys, which break after a single use, I guess, like the worst keys ever. Uh, and some of them will use the sword key, which you don't get as Jill. Nothing special. They're not commenting on the stuff that's broken on the floor. What happened there? Oh, there's nothing here, uh, apparently, so I'll just... Bazooka. I don't think that's even a bazooka. Yeah, that's a... That's a Grenade launcher, definitely. I mean, maybe it's called bazooka somewhere, but not here. Oh, what's this here? Uh, oh my god, is she gonna turn towards him? <gasps> yeah, okay. No. 
So he lost, I think, a leg, two, both arms, <laughs> and his head. Poor guy. Keeper's Diary. May 9th, 1998. At night, we played poker with Scott the guard, Alias and Steve the researcher. Steve was really lucky, but I think he was cheating. What a scumbag. May 10th, 1998. Today, a high-ranking researcher asked me to take care of a new monster. It looks like a gorilla without any skin. They told me to feed them live food. When I threw in a pig, they were playing with it, tearing off the pig's legs and pulling out the guts before they actually ate it. May 11th, 1998. Around 5 o'clock this morning, Scott came in and woke me up suddenly. He was wearing a protection suit that looks like a spacesuit. He told me to put one on as well. I don't know why my voice is changing as I'm doing this, but still. I heard there was an accident in the basement lab. It's no wonder those re researchers never rest, even at night. May 12, 1998. I've been wearing this annoying spacesuit since yesterday. A <laughs> spacesuit? You're, you're, you work for a... Oh, fuck, no. My skin grows musty and feels very itchy. By way of revenge, I didn't feed those dogs today. Now I feel better. Well, that, he was obviously a dick of a man. I, I mean, provided the virus didn't make him act like a dick, but still, that was a dick move. May 13, 1998. I went to the medical room because my back is all swollen and feels itchy. They put a big, ba big bandage on my back and the doctor told me I did not need to wear the spacesuit anymore. So I guess he basically thought, like, yeah, he's done, yeah, don't waste the suit. I guess I can sleep well tonight. May 14th. When I woke up this morning, I found another blister on my foot. It was annoying and I ended up dragging my foot as I went to the dog's bed. They have been quiet since morning, which is very unusual. I found that some of them were, had escaped. I'll be in real trouble if the higher-ups find out. Like, yeah, uh, you're just gonna put some of your colleagues inside and they'll go woof woof when the boss comes to check things out. May 15th, so he, we skipped, no, we didn't skip it. Even though I didn't feel well, I decided to go see Nancy. It's my first day off in a long time, but I was stopped by the guard on the way out. They say the company has ordered that no one leave the grounds. I can't even make a phone call. What kind of joke is this? May 16th. I heard the researcher who tried to escape from this mansion was shot last night. My entire body feels burning and itchy at night. When I was scratching my swelling on my arm... Weird sentence a lump of rotten flesh dropped off what the hell is happening to me i think he said what the hell is happening to me may 19th so three days later fever gone but itchy hungry eat and eat doggy food itchy itchy scott came ugly face who killed him tasty four itchy tasty this <laughs> this chilled me to the bone <laughs> as a kid <laughs> Uh, it really, like, I just read through that and I was like, jeez, I feel bad for the guy that I just killed, well, what's left of him? And that was a really good, that was a really cool move, just showing the humanizing the zombies, just showing what they were. It's not just like, I remember some of the zombies before Resident Evil, like, zombies ate my neighbors. Let's take care of that guy, he's a knight. Where you'd, you know... Zombies didn't didn't feel like you didn't. They were just there to be shot, basically. That's it. Well, here you're just like, yeah, these were old people at some point, like myself. They didn't deserve this, but life's a bitch, I guess. So we unlock the door that brings us back to the uh, what's it called, the dining room? Well, the hall next to the dining room. Hello. I still have one more space left. I think. Yeah, that's okay. By the way, I'm not using any interlacing, uh, the interlacing options, because I tried various ones with just simple OBS. Uh, simple OBS. <laughs> not uh, Streamlabs OBS, just OBS. And they don't look good. Like They either ha have the uh, screen resolution or the temporal resolution. They effectively just cutting the frame rate and I think um, just the interlacing effect, the lines that appear on moving objects is way more tolerable in my eyes than 
uh, then ha having everything move like <laughs> or just look a lot blurrier and I hope you agree with me all right running 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 see I already feel safer there's a lot of them down in this part of the house at least which I'm not sure yeah I'll be back here later when there are hunters and that's not that does not again make me feel good just the blue jewel it's not saying anything about the sapphire it reads some tigers have a red eye and a blue eye um, okay <laughs> if you say so slow burrow okay so another crest which goes to the eastern side of the house and now we have to watch it going back i mean I'll, admittedly i love cutscenes in resident evil games and the old resident evil games even these pointless ones is just showing how the world works just any bits just makes you more if you feel more immersed in the game did I leave anything in that room? I don't think I have yet. I combined the herbs, so I wouldn't have to leave anything. So now that we have all that, and nothing's left behind, I think. Nope! Okay. Uh, let's regroup in the medical room. The medical room is where you use herbs. <laughs> Those are medicinal herbs, it's all okay. Okay, the crest. We don't need it right now. A broken shotgun, I'm gonna keep it. This. I'm gonna leave it. I'm just going balls to the wall. Acid, flame, uh, there we go. This goes with the shotgun, which, when I get the shotgun, yeah, I don't need them right now. There's gonna be another um safe room there so that's okay so we're bringing the broken shotgun bullets pistol two keys and a lot of courage because courage is the main ingredient here well and speed as well i mean as long as you can like the 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 fixed camera angles made things uh more difficult for knowing where the foes are but if you i think i shouldn't have even done that yeah i could have gone down but like if you could see where they are, it would be like uh, in the remade games. You can see where the zombies are and you can run around them. But here you can be like, yeah, there's no one here. Oh god, there's someone here. And that's, you know, that's always, that's just, I don't know how to describe it. It's, it increases the risk factor while not ruining the gameplay, at least for people who love this kind of stuff. The, how, the howling of an howling of an animal can be heard on and off that used to bug the crap out of me like on and off what do you mean like a switch resident evil is actually a lot it's it's responsible by a large margin for by the way like the, the way i fell in love with the english language because i i i liked it even early like before that maybe five six years before I played Resident Evil 1, but like, I had to know what this means. I had to solve the puzzle, you know, and I can't do that if I don't understand what they're talking about. So what the hell is an infant? And there, then I would sit with my dictionary and be like, okay, that means that. Now it's a lot easier than just blindly pushing buttons and fighting crows. Okay, nothing here yet. This, that's also helmet. Check the upper rooms. Now we go get the shotgun, which just <laughs> if you know, like if you played Resident Evil One and you're confident in playing it, like any version with the with or without the auto aim, that's just what uh, you know. Shotgun breaks the game effectively. Now, it doesn't break it, but it makes like you got this huge pair of balls that you have with you, and you're like, yeah, no one can tell me what to do. I have the shotgun. 
except maybe huge snakes or shotgun resistant plants otherwise no oh yeah i will have lots of herbs here as well if i recall correctly the first use of armor key uh, the second use of armor key right right the second use of armor key I love this uh, ambient sound outside. Oh geez, yeah, I don't have auto aim. I had to remember that. So one of them is gonna jump, I think, and that's where I want to start shooting as soon as I. Yeah, that guy. Screw that guy. No, no, you're too close, doggy. Now this. Okay. Phew. One down. These guys really love their herbs. Is there a red one? They're all green. I see. Yeah, I'll come back for these. What? I can take one more at most. Okay. A rusty boiler. Nothing strange. I mean, not really. That's not. That boiler is from the two centuries ago. Every time you had to uh, have a bath, you just said, uh, yeah, let me just go put some stove into the boiler and wait for about uh, probably an hour, 40 minutes or to heat up and hope that it doesn't explode on me. You see this level of detail. So this where I'm now, it's from the other, on the other side of this wall is actually the bathroom. And that's the, the, the attention to detail that I just love with this, with this game. With the old Resident Evil games. I kind of feel that the new ones, uh, not looking at Resident Evil 7 there, but like 4, 5, 6, I'm not gonna talk about 6. They lost that attention to detail with the little things. Seeing another room through like the window, even though you're not in there. Oh, I almost didn't hit him. Okay, maybe I could have ran past him, but I need there's two more herbs to pick up, and I'm not gonna take the chance. And I'm pretty good with ammo actually, I didn't expect to have this much ammo in this version. I was like, I was expecting to be running, like, dragging myself, biting a spoon, and just like on the floor, limbless. That's what I was expecting, but. Yay, that didn't happen. <laughs> well, yet. And now with the shotgun, I'll be like, you're a... I feel unstoppable. Moving, nothing to see here. Pray to God, you, there's nothing to see here. All right. All this way to get you. Hello, my lovely friend. We're gonna become inseparable. <laughs> of course, I think everybody, or most everybody who played this game for the first time, just took the shotgun and when the, well, the first time when you get to the room, I, I know I did. And I was like, that click was just weird. What, what could that mean? Well, nothing's happening. I guess I'm safe. And then in the next room, I didn't feel so safe. Well, I had Barry, of course, to save me and make god-awful jokes that we all love, but it just... <laughs> it's not the same, you see, it's not fair. Jill gets so much help from Barry. It's like, it's even in this version, Jill is like easy mode. No music. This is the silent part of the mansion. Because there are crows nearby, we don't want to disturb them. Okay, now I can take on the zombie or two on the floor and hopefully get the, the second floor map. Now, just recently I've been playing the remake, the Chris playthrough, because I haven't, basically I've beat the game with chill countless times. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say at least 20. That's that's not, that's just like a moderate estimation. I don't think I'm overestimating. 
But with Chris, I think only twice. Once the Director's Cut version and once the uh, PC version. And that's it. Never again. <laughs> Never looked back. I, didn't, I don't really like that playthrough, so it's not, I'm not complaining. So we have 44... Hmm, 44, 15, yeah, that's a, that's a lot of ammo. For now, I'm gonna find some more, so I'm gonna be like even braver and gonna leave the shotgun. Yeah, look at me leaving that shotgun. Hoping that somebody doesn't just come along and be like, oh, look, that's a nice shotgun, I'm gonna take it. Is that it? Do I want something else? I don't have the lighter, so that should be upstairs. I'm still, to this day, I'm not sure all of the cutscenes in this game, how you trigger them. Because I'm pretty sure the one with the, with Barry that we just had in the hole was is activated by uh, just carrying the, the having the uh, herbicide in your inventory. And depending uh, if you uh, on if you emerge on the second floor or on the first floor, it's it's a bit different, I think. But oh, there he is. Come on, fall! No, fall! Again, fall! Is he bleeding out? Yeah, he's bleeding out. Okay, I don't, I don't, I'm not angry at you anymore for not falling. That was, that's okay considering. Considering that you just fell in the like in, in one sh one swoop, one fell swoop. I'm just poking him to see when he's gonna fall. Oh no, he! Oh, and what now? How am I gonna know? Like they, he fell in the darkest corner of the. He's dead, Jim. Okay, that was a wasted bullet, but I feel safe. <laughs> All right, armor key. Ah, oh, the music. Well, if this were, if this were a faulty towers, that would have been on my head right now. All right. Is there an ink ribbon here? <laughs> Those researchers and their ink ribbons. Oh yeah, there's a cutscene here that I unlocked a few times, but I'm not sure how how exactly I did it. Let's see, research as well. My dear Alma, the fact that you have received this letter is both a joy and sadness for me. I could not even talk to you because of that guy in the sunglasses. Alma, be calm and read this. Is that Wesker he's talking about? He's the only one <laughs> that you can define as that guy in the sunglasses. <laughs> I think I've told you that I moved to a pharmaceutical company's lab. They had hunted me. Last month, there was an accident in the lab and the virus we were studying escaped. All my colleagues who were infected by the virus are dead. To be accurate, they've become the living dead. They still wander around. Some of them are knocking on my room door desperately right now. Dude, come join us. But there's no sign of intelligence in their eyes. That cursed virus takes away all humanity from the human brain. Love, joy, sorrow, fear, humor, eternally. Well, they can still make some sounds like they're moaning so that's something that counts for something and Alma even the memories of the days I spent with you yep. oh so yeah he's gonna forget her yes I'm infected I did everything I could but I could only delay the progress by a few days the most frightening thing is that I forget more about you by the day so I chose a peaceful death rather than becoming the living dead Within an hour, I will have entered my eternal, eternal sleep. I do hope you'll understand my decision. Goodbye and forever yours, Martin Crackhorn. Well, that's a sad file, but I always feel like Martin Crackhorn. 
I don't know what that's fine to crack horn. That's a step away from crack pipe. Because <laughs> in the old days, I guess they didn't have pipes, so <laughs> they would have used horns. It seems someone has searched here already. There used to be a switch. Will you push it? Uh, I don't think I should right away. Let's see. Does this move? Do I move it or does it move on its own? Oh, yeah, I can move it. Okay. I think I should move it. I think I should. Yeah, I shouldn't have moved it. I think I shouldn't have moved it. Let's get out and just reset everything. It's a good thing that even the items are in the whole cahoots with the whole everybody back to your places thing. <laughs> Otherwise, there, the game wouldn't be unbeatable. Like if you push a ladder in the wrong place and it didn't happen, well, that's the last you push that ladder. So, yeah, I can go behind it. And the thing is, do I want to move that? Yeah, she's like, it's not moving. It's too heavy to move. Yeah. I need to empty it. I know it's a simple puzzle here, like just I think the, the tank is blocking the uh, uh, the water tank is blocking the, the closet, whatever thing you, that I need to push. So I'm gonna go with that idea. It's so nice reliving this all of this again. I love it. I love it. And the game's still pretty playable if you like the tank control, which I guess if you played Resident Evil games enough, it did just come natural. I don't know. A lot of people are complaining about the tank controls, but they're not that scary. You can play the game. Admittedly, I probably a quick turn would have been nice because, especially without the auto, when you have the auto aim, it's effectively like you have the quick turn because. Well, if someone's behind you, that's where you want to turn most of the time, and you can quickly turn there. Unless you're escaping, then you're kind of handicapped. There's nothing here, not even like a lock, pick lock drawer. It's well arranged. That's exactly what we're looking for, Jill. How well arranged it is. If it were poorly arranged, I would have had to smash that room. Fuck that room, poorly arranged. Let's go to this room. Maybe it's even better <laughs> with its arrangement. Yeah, she was probably talking about the desk, but still. Oh, is that a clip I see? No, that's the lighter. I'm gonna take that right away without thinking. And... What's here? There's... Okay, I just have one more spot left. So I'm not gonna take this. I'll be back. I think there's another one there, or at least some ammo. Like an invisible spot. Yes, there's a clip. That's... I currently value them more than... Um, more than... Herbs, because... I don't need herbs if I'm, if I'm armed well. Thank you, Snake Lord. Thank you for the follow. Alright, so herb, yes or no? Yeah, I think if it's the last item, if there's nothing in between the beds, I won't need to come back here. And I can get the map, which is also very good. Maps are a pricey commodity in these games. Well, a valuable one, they're not pricey. <laughs> Unless the Resident Evil 4 merchant starts selling maps as well. <laughs> be like, that would be uh, making stuff more difficult. See, not, I don't even, not a fan of Resident Evil 4, 5, or 6. Yeah, I know 4 is better than five and everything is better than six but even the survivor is better than six i can't believe i'm saying that but um i don't know it's just kind of they even ruined the maps in from resident evil 4 onwards so at least four had a map that you can look at and five was like yeah you here's a mini map and just that's that's what you get i don't remember did five have an actual map oh lovely yeah, I think it just has the minimap. True, true. What is put in the stove? A paper is on the wall. Nice observation, Jill. Burn that wood, burn it good. Oh, the sound of crackling fire.
Ooh, I got the goosebumps. I love this trick. This was... <laughs> Apparently, I love a lot of things about the first Resident Evil. I'm still, to this day, not sure whether I love one or two more. They're both amazing. But... One just has that uh, alone in the house, in a mansion th uh, kind of thing, which I just, I love it. I think they nailed it with it. And I haven't felt that kind of feeling until I played Resident Evil 7, which I did not expect to be as good as it was. I, I just played it more to be like, let's see what, how... How not good is it? You know, how it's not, I know it's not awful, but I don't think it's not gonna, you know, I'm gonna enjoy it more than six. But um, I don't think that, I didn't believe that it would get me to the point where I'm like six hours. Okay, I just one more, just one more room and I'll save. I promise I, I didn't believe that. And seven gave me that the first time after one and two. But, because it's also in a mansion and they they carried over a lot of tropes in a nice way in a in, in, in a way that's not cheesy that just that, that there was an instant win you know so we're gonna leave these can you load I wonder let's mix these first can you load more than six in this bazooka or was that introduced with the grenade launchers from two onwards I'm not sure but we're about to find out. Okay, leave those. Keep the lighter. Shells. Shotgun, what am I looking for? Yeah, I want to see if I can mix that with the bazooka. Well, there's... Yeah, we'll find out. yeah just six. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have done that. I think in this game you can't exchange the rounds until you spend them and I intend to use acid rounds on the snake well there's a first time for everything is there let's try it out right now I'm, I'm curious now. can you exchange them oh boy you can't well that's another thing that's harder so you can't be like let's just switch the rounds once you loaded it <laughs> the bazooka's like I'm not opening I'm not reloading until you <laughs> spend all this ammo that you just put in me okay I'll keep that in mind. Is there another green herb? Just a green one. Oh yeah, there is. There's wow. There's a lot of green herbs. Well, a little bit more, and I'll be able to just like leave them all around the house for anybody else who comes along. Do zombies use herbs? Like, would they do that? Would they be like om nom nom, and just like? cure themselves well not of the virus obviously but I don't think of anything else they're constantly regenerated do I need a lighter for something yeah I'll need it in a room upstairs and what else I want to go back for all those herbs yeah let's do that now while I'm like relaxed I don't think everything's gonna kill me right away let's put the wind crest and get as many herbs as I can Leave the keys for now. I'm feeling great right now, so that's why I'm going to do this. Like I said, the more ammo, the more courage. Running, running, running. Okay. Windcrest first. Slowly filling up that key lock mechanism. Mechanism? Locking mechanism? Yeah. No doggies, right? No, you can just hear. It. I love the outside sounds in the first game. Just they're simple, just a loop of two different kinds of crickets and dogs, but you can hear them on the left and the right. Um, alternating, you know, and it's not it doesn't get it doesn't get boring, it doesn't get repetitive, and that's really good. That is excellent. Okay, <clears throat> it represents wind. Just use it, don't check it. Mm. 
So we have the wind. We're missing the what the sun and the moon, yeah. That's the fastest you can so this is I'm holding the button to scroll the text. Otherwise it would go like this. Okay, that wasn't so bad. But here you can see. That's you can read like I think anyone can read faster than the text is actually scrolling when you're not holding the button. Another improvement in later games was you could just double tap the button and it would just print all of the texts simultaneously, like at once, like poof, for checking items for in the inventory for checking items outside of the inventory, like your environment. We will talk about it when we get to Resident Evil 2. I wonder how long will it take me to finish this game, this version. That's well, it's not as scary as anymore now that I've been playing it for like what an hour and a half. I feel way more confident because they're obviously not tearing me apart, Lisa. But still, um, I dread the moment when the hunters come. I believe most of the things you can hit easy. Are there any dogs? No, I don't hear them. You don't even have to fight the sharks, I think. Yeah, if you drain the water, they'll just be like. Like, they'll be effectively become um, Magikarps. Magikarp. Magikarp? 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 I forgot how you pronounce that. <laughs> Magikarp, thank you. <laughs> then you can just, like, shoot them, the Magikarps. I mean, the sharks and Neptune, I think they're called. Codenamed. So the... The zombie dogs are codenamed Cerberi, Cerberus, like in, in singular. And uh, it wasn't until I until I started watching Resident Evil videos on the internet that I realized that people just call them zombie dogs because Cerberus sounds way more badass than zombie dogs. Zombie dogs just fall, sound like they're falling apart, which they are, but it's not uh, you know it's not as a, it's not a cool name. I don't I don't like it. It's not the same. Okay. Chick. So we have a bunch of herbs, and there's two more upstairs, right? I'm not sure if in this version, in in the in the original version at all, if if it makes any any difference whether you get to Richard fast enough. I'm not sure about a lot of things with this game. Like I said, it's been 20 years since I last played it. I mean, I have played the director's cut last time about 10 years ago. It's basically the same thing, but again, not. Am I putting these? Yeah, I'm gonna put all these in. We'll just unload some inventory space and then move on. So I guess I do want to spend some bazooka rounds, but at the same time I want to save some for the hunters. And that's a dilemma. I've left one red upstairs. Let's... Oh yeah, there'll be more, if I remember correctly. So I have this, I'm going to take the shotgun or save the bazooka for the snake, I guess. I thought acid rounds are better for it, but whatever. I'm probably gonna get poisoned without auto aim. I'm I'm just ready for that. I have I used to be you know priding in not getting poisoned by uh the first boss, Yawn. Uh the giant snake at all. Just like three I think three or four acid shells and it's like and crawls back into its hole. But here I don't know how I'm gonna hit it. It's it's thin, it is it gets tall when it rears itself up, but at the same time it's it moves very unpredictably and I guess explosive rounds are better because they kinda split. They're the shotgun equivalent of bazooka. Oh I forgot the keys. God okay, let's get the herb and then I'll go back with the keys. I need my keys, I'm the master of unlocking, without them I'm nothing, I'm nothing, I'm lost. 
not going to comment on that picture because it's not important. I mean her, not me. Oh, guy, what are you doing here? Who called you here? Jeez, I don't remember anyone spawning here. What's the big deal? Oh, two of them. Lovely. Okay, yeah, I'll deal with it. One head down. Am I aiming at him at all? Yeah, okay. I did not expect that. Glad I brought my shotgun. I guess they're not going to be returning later. Why did that happen? Is that just in this version now? For one green herb, I shouldn't have done it. Oh, okay. Probably would have had to done. Would have had to do it anyway later. <laughs> I remember uh, the first Resident Evil I ever played was three, actually. Then I played one, and um, I remember how blown away I was that you can see when you swap the weapon. It wasn't a huge thing back in the nineties. So yeah, I'm just going to go back for my keys, silly of me. Actually, I think there's going to be a, more herbs here and a guy to kill, so the door knob is broken. So this door you can only pass from one side, and that is the other side, obviously. I couldn't, have, I couldn't pass through this one. There's one there, is there one here? No? Okay, I feel safe then. As long as I have a wall behind me and the zombie that's not... Oh, there's two of them. I can hear the other guy. I thought there was just one. Okay, I'll be able to see clearly if he's dead and he's not dead. <laughs> it's funny that I can see blood on the red carpet better than on some other things. So let's not forget about that guy, but not... Do not confront him yet, because there are other things to do, like get some files to read. And I think there's still ammo somewhere. A clip, I'm sorry, a clip. Again, well arranged. Well, I guess there's more, more OCD people in the house than we thought, or there were. A botany book about medicinal herbs. As you may, as you may know, there are many plants that have medical effects. Since ancient times, humans have been healing wounds and diseases using various plants. In this book, we're going to sample three herbs that grow around the raccoon mountains, raccoon mountains, and give their outliners, give their outlines as examples of those plants with the medical properties. Each herb has different colors and different effects as medical plants. The green one recovers physical strength, the blue one neutralizes natural toxins, while the red herb does not have any effect by itself. The red herb is only effective when it is mixed with other herbs. Well, mostly with the green. I don't think you can mix it with the blue one in this game. For example, if you mix this herb with the herb that recovers physical strength, the recovery effects will be tripled. And that's all the mixing you can do. <laughs> you can add the blue one to that. By adjusting the amount and experimenting with these three herbs, you can create various kinds of medicines, but I'll leave the details in your hands, because that is the best way to acquire true knowledge. So experiment, kids, with herbs. I mean, people have made so many jokes about the green herb and how it looks like a, like a certain herb from... Uh, from real life and the way they're just they look when you combine them so let's let's not beat that horse <laughs> we all think it and that's fine so nothing here no herbs just a book i remember there was a clip but i'm not sure i am not sure nothing uncommon no clips that's not on the chair it's not somewhere here. Nothing in common. Nothing. In common. I could have sworn there's a clip in this one. Well, I guess you gain some, you lose some. I got one where I didn't think I'd get it, and I didn't get one where I thought it. I, I'm I'm talking about the. Uh, you unlocked it. I'm talking about the Kenneth uh, two clips. I thought it, there's just one in this version. I was sure they're gonna just nick that one. And be like, yeah, you, you can do with one. And without auto aim. 
I gotta say this is going well so far. Uh, I'm obviously not going for any like fast play or anything, just like regular, like like you'd play it at home, that kind of, like just chilling, playing Resident Evil with dim lights. Okay, I want my keys back. I'm useless without my keys. I'm just a master of nothing then. All right. So let's leave this room as well. Well, look at this stockpile. It's you know, with you can have like infinite amount of them <laughs> in the item chest, and it doesn't it doesn't help if if they're not on you. Well, on me, of course, but still. Oh, uh, I'll need the lighter. Actually, no, not yet. I'll need the shield key, the armor key. I think both. I'm not sure. One key is just gonna be for for that one room where the snake is. Ah, oh, screw it, I'm just going. So far it's going good, so I'm getting braver by the minute. It's so quiet when you when you take care of them, so I'm not really regretting doing that. Yes, I know they'll be replaced by hunters anyway later, and some of them apparently respawn in rooms where you've already been. Maybe that's triggered because of me uh, taking the, the second floor map. I'm not sure. So there's a lot more to explore on the second floor and not so much on the first one, as you, as you can see. Another thing that was added in later games and that this one does not have is... Uh, being able to see if you have if you left an item in the room that was that was really appreciated in the remake and zero especially in zero which is just you, you go batshit crazy with where did I leave that thing if you're not careful it's easy to lose them where is he I swear there was another one but never mind the armor key again okay what do I get there okay yeah yeah, yeah, I have enough space, enough room for now, so I think we're good. Gonna get another key here, I think. No, no, another quest. This, so the first time I ever played this game, I played it, I was actually in a game room, which were largely popular here back in the 90s, and I was with my nephew, and I think, yeah, I probably used quite a few ink ribbons, um, but I did not... I did not expect, like, there are some things that you can move, okay, big deal, and this puzzle killed me, because if you don't push these armor statues, whatever they are, onto these, these little grates here, a weird hole opens, yeah, I never checked that, actually, something can be seen in the showcase. If you don't do that, uh, when you push the button to release the key, you also release the poison, and I was like, yeah, I know, it's... She seems to not like it, but she's still alive. Oh, wait, no, she's dead. She just gave up on life. She just goes, she's just walking. She just suddenly goes, ah. And that's where I, actually, no, that's a lie. I didn't quit right then and there. I actually went to fight the snake, which I didn't expect there to be. He was like, there's a huge snake there, uh, the guy we're about to meet, Richard. And I was still like, you know, Okay, I have a shotgun, and oh god, that's one huge snake. I don't, I, I won't survive this. Okay, so I think that's another crest that I could just straight away take down there. And the final one is the snake is sitting on it, so to say. So that's the sun crest. It goes east. If that puzzle taught me anything. Oh wait, is there anything else inside, like ammo? Just maybe? No, just like a bunch of stuff she doesn't even want to look at. It's not worth her attention. <laughs> okay. Should I bring this right away? No, let's go see Richie. No zombies? <gasps> You scared the hell out of me, dude. Just, like, at least knock before you do that. Ah, oh, wasted bullet. I hate when I do that. Are you bleeding out? Probably not. Oh, wait. 
there, you guy, I love you, okay? I, I forgive you for attacking me, or at least attempting. You're the first person, I'm sorry, zombie here to actually just stay on the floor after the, the additional bullet. Just thank you. That's very kind of you. Finally. Is that too hard? Oh, there's more use for armor key? Yeah, I can't. I don't think I can control her past this point. Maybe I can. Yes. Richard is slowly dying there, but we have other things to attend to. So, Richard's gonna die anywhere. He's he's just there to give us some great A acting and like <laughs> as believable as dying in Red versus Blue with the whole bleh. Richard, what happened? Oh, Richard! Jill, this house is dangerous. No there shit, Richie. Demons. Ouch. Terrible demons. You're <laughs> what kind of demon attacked you? Demon. It was a snake. <laughs> and also poisonous. Oh. Poisonous? Oh no. Richard, hold on. There is serum. Oh no, I should have brought some with me. No problem. I'll go and get it. Thanks. I'll, sorry, I'll go and get it. Oh. <laughs> it will always baffle me the way he says, like, there is serum. Oh, I probably should have brought some. Like, is that... You were bitten on the floor for a while, and that was the moment where you remembered. Like, there was actually serum for what you're going Like, there's a cure for what you're going through? Okay, I know where we're going. I don't know if there's any difference if we get there fast, but let's do it, because I think everything's cleaned up all the way down there. Except that one guy I left behind the corner. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have, because now I have to remember that he's always lurking there, being like, Where are my friends? All right, another scary door conquered. The interlacing effect doesn't seem to be too bad, which is good. Well, most of the stuff on the screen is static anyway, and whatever's in motion doesn't really have much detail anyway, so I think we're good. I would say that's totally fine. Acceptable, within acceptable limits. <laughs> Five steps down, and then turn right. Actually, kind of turn 180, and more to the right. No one here? Like any guard in Metal Gear Solid 2, I'm just going to say nothing here. What to do? Could have just used the other stair. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm here for the cure. Yeah, we have a guy dying that's really uncomfortable for me. Where did I not use the armor key? I'll have to check my map. Let's save Richie for now. And bring the lighter, because that's something I'll need. Exactly. Okay, bazooka. No, I have the shotgun. I'm not gonna enter Yon's room right away. It's a good thing Richard's programmed to wait for me. Not that he gives any useful info, aside from it was a snake. Only one dose is left. Vitamins and serums. Should I have brought something? I don't think so. I'll find out as soon as I need it. Most of the house is already explored, so it's it's okay. Until we I hear a hunter, I'm gonna be calm. Ah, oh, the pain in the thumbs when you have to like use these controls on the D-pad. 
I remember how stoked I was just to to, to be able to, when I heard there was a DualShock version that uses analog sticks, like in Resident Evil 2, yeah, give me that shit, I want it, and I was, I started playing it, I was like, yeah, and then the, the music just started, and uh, that's not, you know, it doesn't sound like the hallway music, and it wasn't, and I heard uh, a few more tunes, and I never, I never booted it up again, never actually played the Joshua version to the end, you know. Okay. Oh yeah, Richard. I keep forgetting we're here for Richard. Not exploring. We're saving Richard. <laughs> hey, I'm the master of unlocking, not the master of remembering, so cut me some slack. Go save him. <clears throat> Here's the serum. Richard, hold on. I'll give you a shot now. Jill, here's my radio. Blah. You should keep it. I'm. <laughs> no, Richard. I did not expect that with Jill. the huge. Oh, okay, not it. Sorry, not <laughs> the Shrek three scene all over again. <laughs> Are you dead now? With the bite mark of that size, I was sure he's gonna be all right. Does he have any ammo? He's dead. So you wasted the serum on him. Good. You could have waited for three more seconds just like. Oh, he has a clip. So my Bravo team members are. They're okay. They're good guys. I mean, they may be dead, but they. All, each one of them gave me a fighting chance. So that, Oh, this guy is going to puke on me. I hate him. I remember like the first time I was like, what the hell? They can do that? Come on, get out. I don't have auto aim, so... Get the fuck out. That's right. Okay. <clears throat> I have the lighter. Kind of ready for this. Is the shield key just for this door? I don't think so, but... Oh, don't open the door. Jeez, that scared me. Oh, yes, it's useless, discarded. Oh, God, I would, that would have just messed up the whole game. I probably would have survived poison. But still, let's not, let's not go get close to the door, as unarmed as we are. That's not smart. <laughs> okay. The, I love this room. I love it. I mean, I love a lot of rooms in this house, but I, n I never knew what these were. I would imagine them like crystal orbs or something like that. But I don't know. It just looks it looks familiar, old. You know, familiarly. It doesn't look made up. Like it looks like a place that exists or has existed. Well, more things, more clips. Yes, always. Thank you. This is already. Pretty good, that's 80 bullets stocked up, aside from shotgun and everything. So let's light things up a little first. There we go. See these things? I don't know what they are, but they just kind of... Are they planets? Are they... Are they kind of look like crystal orbs or mini mirrors? I don't know. Is that a clock? But I love them. Where? Which way are we pushing it? All right, and in here I should find some uh, ammo. Oh, uh, I think, yeah, acid rounds. Okay, that's 12 acid rounds. It's going pretty good, I gotta say. It's not as hard, it's not nearly as hard as I thought it would be. Like, I expect it to be like I said, dragging myself limbless with a spoon in my mouth. But this is pretty good. Is there nothing else? Well, I got, I got an ink ribbon. I got um, some pistol ammo and acid rounds. Why be greedy? Why be greedy? All right, let's see. Uh, go back. Ignore the snake for now. There's still a room I'm yet to unlock with this key. What could it be? I think so. 
Yeah, there's still use for our Kia, obviously. Wait, why am I checking it? I should check the map. <laughs> okay, map, second floor. What's a left lock? So I know the doors all the way on the west, northwest, they're out of my league right now. But this to the right is the snake room, that's the helmet door, so probably somewhere on the first floor. Could it be the door that goes to the kitchen? Nah, I don't think so. But I can try that. So the door that goes to the kitchen on the west, and in the east... There's the helmet room and... Huh. I have no idea what I missed, but I love it. It feels like... it feels... You know, I'm not... it's not like I know where everything is, so it gives me like more motivation to play. And there's a... there's a slight sense of discovery. Wow, I did not know that! While I'm fooling around, I'm just gonna go and bring this. Bring this down. What this? The um, the crest, the sun crest. Richard's dead, so nothing I can do with him. Actually, I don't have to do that. I can just go and check if there's any door I left unlocked. Left locked. <laughs> that I forgot to unlock, basically, there. I love how the music so sounds. It sounds like a moaning zombie. It's the way it's composed, it just. Screams zombie mansion or like moans zombie mansion. <laughs> okay. Uh, 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 yeah, they don't combine. Too bad. I don't need a lighter for now for a long time, I think. Let's take. Let's take. Let's take the sun crest and combine these two. Combine them first. That makes me even bra braver. It makes me feel even braver. Like super brave. Okay, leave that. <laughs> Not a single save yet. This uh, I'm gonna save before yawn, just in case. I don't know. I just or not. Maybe I really go balls to the wall. Bring some health and. Acid rounds. I don't know. Lighter, not necessary right now. Bazooka shells, no, no, no. I'm not even gonna carry the shotgun. What I'll need for yawn. Those two things. Then we have the key and the crest. which I'll leave right away. If there's any more zombies that I can take out with something, I'm not going to use the shotgun, I'm going to use the bazooka. So if necessary, I can switch to uh, acid rounds quicker. It always baffled me that Barry says uh, it's especially good for living things. Because uh, as if he was suggesting, I don't know, killing, shooting it at one of our teammates, I don't know. They're zombies, they're not, I don't know what he, what they meant, but probably a lot of it was lost in the translation, so it's forgivable. There weren't games like this, I can't stress that enough, there weren't games like this back when this came out, and even then people were conscious about the, uh, the weird voice voice acting, but still, you know, it was it was a minor nuisance. At least they talked in a lot of games. They didn't talk, and you know, they didn't overuse it like in uh, Blood Omen: Legacy of Cain, where Cain narrates everything he does. My God, I know it's a sword. You don't have to tell me every time the history of the fucking sword. Just kill him, equip it. 
they didn't do that here and that's you know they talk when they need to talk unlike me I obviously don't never shut up Loop. okay one more left one step closer to freedom yet I mean I guess you know, in the interest screen when it started, when it says yep, I, I guess the right intonation would be they were safe. Yeah. I don't know, it's just weird. Okay. Now dicking around. Oh yeah, we have the radio now, thanks to Richie. The battery is still charged. This and will it you know, there will be there will come a time when we will use this. On my first playthrough, I never used it. I didn't even know what that that it's you know that that the radio is what I'm what's calling me. <laughs> You'll see very soon. So let's find where I might have missed the door with the uh, armor key. I literally can't remember what which door could that be. Or well, we're about to find out. Checking every door. Because I'm the master of unlocking. I kind of have a feeling it's the gallery. That it doesn't use the helmet key like I thought, but the armor one. And that's in the main hall. So let's go there. Ah, oh, so quiet. No zombies, no dogs. No zombie dogs. <laughs> Taken everything I could from this room, left the guy to sleep. I don't have a grudge against that guy, he's just chilling on the floor. No, I've taken that. Oh, yeah, wait. It's on the other side. <laughs> Not opening the front door again, because this time they will actually get in. Yes, that's it. All right. Okay. This key is useless now. And that's one more key down. Another scary door conquered. Well, I mean, as the master of unlocking doors would be her natural enemy, at least locks, if not doors. Everybody else is like, oh my god, zombies, and Jill's like, oh, holy shit, a locked door, what do I do? Oh, hello, guy. So it's just one guy, okay. Two, three. Are you down? No, four. Kneel before Zod. See, this one, this was also a nice person, zombie person. He was, he just stayed on the floor. Ooh, a lock pick. A locked drawer, another on one of my enemies. Sworn enemies. Alright. Okay, let's get into this room now. I think I've taken everything from this one. I have lots of ammo now. <clears throat> There's less and less zombies. Oh that guy is active immediately. Let's let me head his way. One more? Are you dead? Oh, that sounded painful. Poor guy. Now I feel for him. Sorry, man. You would just you would have just bitten my leg and I leg and I just can't I can't accept that, so I'm sorry. I didn't mean to, really. I mean I did mean to, but I still feel sorry. More ink ribbon. With not a single one used yet, that is Oh okay, I have space. That's that's okay. I could even use an herb because I think I got poked in the eye by one of those crows when I messed up the puzzle in the beginning. So, let's see. Nothing. And this door, you don't have the key for this room. Like, 
outright says it you don't have the key we don't we're not going to tell you what key but nothing major just minor um basically that's the dressing room i think i never did that i never never was never i was never like wow new costumes in resident evil games except in resident evil 3 where i like to play as regina but it bothered me that they don't change in the cutscenes, so I never really use them. But I think when you beat the game, I'm pretty sure this is where you'd find alternative costumes, which I have no idea what they even look like in Resident Evil 1. I know some alternative costumes in 2, because there, see, there it's fun to get them. I will forgive that they're not, um, you know, they're not there in the cutscenes. It's still pokes me in the eye, but um, is there a piano? What is there? Various things. Okay, it looks like, what, a row of cigars or something? In Resident Evil 2, it's way, the process of getting your special costumes is kind of built into the game. It's not just beat the game. No, that's it, I think. I can go to Yawn because Nothing is going to open down there. And definitely... Let's see. Yeah. The dressing room. The There's a hole there. Oh, yeah. I know where the hole is. Do I? No, I don't. No. I'm just talking out of my ass. Okay. Eastern side. Yes. Around. Actually, yeah. I know where what the hole's for. We're gonna see that later. It's a secret passage between the gallery, art gallery I was just in, and the room where the dressing room is. So nothing here, and here we're done. I can safely go fight Yon. I mean, safely, not really. But should I go like this? Let's go like this. Why not? I'm just gonna. No, I have a, the ink ribbon. I could just zoom over there, but... I believe I'll need some inventory space. There's... Well, there's shotgun ammo, which I have, and... I don't know how, how, how hard it's gonna hurt me. Let's bring a red and green herb. Considering I haven't saved, and I don't intend to save before it... For reasons... Um... I'm just gonna go there safer. This is a personal challenge. Can I face Yon without auto aim 20 years later? Hi, Jill. Do you ever notice how she has brown hair in the game, but it seems like she has blonde hair on her stars card when you choose the char character in the beginning? Did she dye her hair in the, you know? I think her also her live action counterpart has the uh, has blonde hair. You can't really see it well in in black and white and in the night, but I'm pretty sure she also has blonde hair. So that's probably why. But I don't know. I never heard anyone complaining like I'm not gonna play this. She has different hair in the cutscene. Fuck that game. It's not worth my time. Liars. Showing me different hair. Okay, yeah, um, I actually used to <laughs> not being able to combine shit. Like, uh, automatically from the, from the um, item box. I could as well bring them with me because I'm going to find more. And from this point on, I'm well armed. Yeah, hunters are going to be scary, but I'm going to have enough shotgun and... Uh, bazooka rounds that I'm pretty confident even with hunters. I just need to be careful um, that they don't take my head off. They love doing that, just like if you're hurt. I'm not sure if they can do it with full health, but if you're hurt, uh, they can just in one jump be like, Bleh. you don't need that. It's my head now. Yeah, I'm going to leave it. Combat knife, shotgun. Yes, I have bazooka. Uh, and let's bring two red mixtures. Use this one as well. And two spots are going to be okay, I think. <clears throat> so, yeah, I'm, I'm well equipped, I believe. This is, this is, 
I feel this is brave of me just going there without saving. I feel that's brave because I was really scared of playing this game, especially live when you're like, you know, when you're playing alone and you can just have a game over. You can be like, you can be angry or be or laugh at it and just resume. Live, it's just with eating a lot. You have to do everything, and people have seen things, so they don't want to see the same things again. Okay, folks, we're going to take a 10 minute break here. I need to stretch my legs a bit, and then we're going to tackle Yawn and possibly going to end tonight's episode uh, just before I leave the or after I leave the mansion. We're going to see how time serves us. So for now, I'm going to take a 10 minute break and we'll be back in 10 minutes with Resident Evil 1, the original version on the actual PlayStation. See you soon. Welcome back everyone, uh, you're watching Resident Evil 1, the original version, not the director's cut, no auto-aim, Jill playthrough, episode 1. Uh, we're about to face off Yawn, and I brought two health items with me, strong ones, a bazooka, acid rounds, and a lot of courage. I guess I'm ready, so my decision is not to save here, I wanna... I'm gambling on just beating beating the huge snake. I don't think it's okay. That sounded bad. <laughs> uh, I don't think it's gonna be that hard. But uh, like I said a few times, it just scares me not to <laughs> be able to turn around and point at the enemy, and then just tap L1 to continually track them if necessary. All of that's been stripped away because this is basically Capcom wanted to make Resident Evil 1 uh, harder for Western audiences in order to you make game make the game more meaningful and I think particularly uh, the American market where it's way more usual to it was way more common rentals were common that's what i'm trying to say game, video game rent, rentals were very common we had them here uh where i live but there really weren't that big of a thing richard's not giving us any more right? anything anymore it's not even commenting on his death she doesn't even want to look him look at him <laughs> Look at poor Richard lying on the ground. I guess that's his bloody handprint. Okay. Bazooka herbs. I mean, if 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 Yon gets me now, that's it. I have to start everything from scratch. And that's that's not good. So what's gonna happen is I'm pretty sure she's gonna poison me. It's gonna poison me uh, because I won't be able to turn fast enough to shoot at it. Because I, this is my turning speed. That's the fastest. With auto aim, she would just be straight at, straight at it. So <clears throat> here we go. Let's not delay the inevitable. Oh God, where do I position myself so that she's that it's? I'm sorry. Just in my language, snakes. A snake is a, a feminine noun, so that's why I always keep saying she. Is this a good position? I'm mean, seeing nothing's a good position. <laughs> With this giant anaconda of death, fucking who keeps a pet snake from their attic? Like, ah! I don't love this. Oh, it moves me. Well, thank you, game. Okay, it bit me, but I bit it as well. Are you running away? No. I I will heal now, because I have no idea what's my health. Oh, I can see the color. That is... Are you dead? Okay, it's. I think it's running away. No. I can't see if I'm hitting her. Orange, that's not too bad. Is it running away? Okay, that's becoming bad. Red. And that's all I can do. I have to defeat it now. Come on. Okay, that wasn't good, but the acid round should finish it off. Because that's all the 
run away. Yes, that's it. Okay. It's whoo that was scary. What's my health? Yellow, okay. That was scary. Hurry it up. Hurry it up. Come on, come on. We don't have time for this. Books and gadgetry, nothing useful. I have to get out before I get to red, because I don't want to die. Oh, at least you can see how dead are you at all. How dead you are. Because um like in, in Resident Evil 2 and 3, I didn't think even called Veronica, when you're poisoned, it just says poison and purple, and you just gotta guess, but they limp, they added the limp, the caution and danger limps in Resident Evil 2 and 3, so that's kind of better. Nothing here, we got the crest, we got the ammo, maybe there's some handgun ammo, but I can't risk it, and it's not really worth it. She's still yellow. Okay, that was good. That was like I, I I'm not missing those two combined herbs. I have lots more, so so she should collapse now. Yep. Like, oh look at the wall. I, oh. Am I poisoned? Nah. Give me the serum. But she's lucky. She has Barry. If uh, if this were Chris, he'd have to. Take care of himself. <laughs> Fun fact, the first time I played this, and probably I'm not the only one, when she collapses, I thought, that's it, yep, I fucked up. Gotta go back to the last save. I love this music. I think it's only here. Barry, Barry. In case you didn't know that Barry saved her. Okay, she's fine and dandy. Vitamins and serums. Thank you, Barry. I. Thank you. Without Barry. And the lockpick, Jill, would be nothing. That's a lot of shotgun shell. Now we can really start spraying buckshot all around. Okay, I don't need the bazooka right now. God damn it, yeah. That's, that's why I actually should have come there with acid rounds without reloading. The bazooka just spend the two remaining ones that's what i usually did and just get there with acid because right now i have to have fire rounds for the next boss and i have to spend four acid rounds on random things that's jordan just not worth it so i kind of messed up but it's not bad because look at all this ammo i have i mean i should outlive anything okay i guess pistol rounds are gonna Cut it uh, till I get to the other house. I won't carry any more any herbs or anything. I'm not even gonna save. That's how brave I'm gonna be. I'm just gonna run there and save when I get to the guard house. <laughs> I feel I should be more concerned for you know doing that. <laughs> We're not saving yet, but why not? Why not go all in? Like I ha like I said, it's been a long time since I played this, 20 years, and uh, I want to see what's the best, what's the best grade I can get. Um, what's the best? Well, yeah, grade. I think they're called grades. I'm thinking a B, but I wouldn't mind if it were an A. <laughs> For S, you don't, you, you, you can't use a single F, F8 spray. You can't uh, save more than two times, and you have to beat the game for less than four hours, which is something I just don't. I don't like running through these games. I like taking my time, as you can see, and just just enjoying the scenery, enjoying the, the gameplay, the story, you know, enjoying the sounds. And 
I just miss all of that. It doesn't happen if I just run for the best time. I feel like Metroid is more suited for Metroid games in general, especially Super Metroid is more suited for speedruns. Well, Metroid Prime, not as much. Because once you've beaten the game, you can go back and be like, yeah, I can, I'm going to do this with an even better grade. Or with, with an even better time and I think that's how most of us before the internet found out about the different endings in Metroid games. But I digress. This is Metroid, this is Resident Evil. Merged into Evil. Did I get all those herbs there? Yeah, I went back for them, yeah. That's it, this is the last time I'll see any safety in this house before I kill all the hunters, I guess. <laughs> oh god, that's gonna be an ordeal. Yeah, it scares me, really. Like, you've seen what the snake does. I missed what I wasted one round because it didn't pull the gun down fast enough. And imagine with those like, two hunters in a room, just. They're fast. Like, they're, before they notice me, they're not as fast. But once they do. They are faster than me, and they can jump, I can't jump, I can't do... I can unlock doors, that's my specialty. That's, I had to live with it. I am living with it. And you know, it's, it's a nice skill, There's the people can't hide from me. I guess I can hide from people easier, because I can just lock myself in. Break the lock. Screw you guy, you're not getting in. But... Hunters, man. I just no. Oh, look at that crank here. And this this room here started the Resident Evil crank tradition. Crank tradition? Tradition? An old barrel. Is there anything in the old barrel, Jill? Kind of feel there should be some bullets. I also remember more bullets being on the attic, but screw it now. I need to go around it, yeah. Probably a little bit more to the left, it would seem. All right. Climb those stairs, come on, climb. Oh, I'm fine with the tank controls, I'm perfectly fine with them. Oh. And that's it. Really no ammo? How dare you? I'm the master of unlocking. I deserve some ammo. Or at least a fancy key. I don't know. Whatever the master of unlocking treasures. Okay, there's going to be a lot of Cerberi outside. And I just got to make sure they're all in front of me. Okay, that's it. So just keep the aim this little corner, they can't get past me. Probably. Just be patient, they'll come on their own time. What? No, here guy. Oh, here little doggy. Come on. Come on. Over here. Yeah, that's right. Okay, I can get both of them from here. That is nice. That is very nice, I love it. One, that one's still alive? Not anymore. And that's it, that's it. So this, I was talking about this earlier. Um, the first time, the first 10 times I played this, I had no idea that what I'm supposed to do when I hear that sound is pick up the goddamn radio. This is Jill. I'm taking awfully long pauses be between replying because that this makes it. Yeah. Stars, I see you're doing that too. Red. <laughs> Anybody, 
No, come closer. You're going the wrong way. God damn it. Brad? Brad? <laughs> I'm pretty sure she's not holding. They didn't bother to put a model of the radio in her head. At least I don't see it. I've never seen it. But just funny looking at her, like looking at her hand, like that's one bad hand. <laughs> Okay, still good at ammo, still with ammo, I think there are two red herbs here. This is gonna be a lot easier than I thought, I was selling it like super high, you know, there's gonna be difficult, no auto aim, but aside from like fast moving things, which luckily aren't many in the game, it's good. Like even with fast moving things, if you position yourself right and have the right weapons, it should be okay, in theory. Aside from hunters, I don't know, uh, Tyrant's gonna be a pain in the ass, because he can be fast, but it's basically with Tyrant, I don't think, yeah, I don't use a single Magnum bullet, I'm pretty sure, until I get to the Tyrant, and then I just unload all the Magnum in him. All of my Magnum are now yours. And then I get a rocket launcher and that's it. So that might be helpful, but we'll see. I'm getting ahead of myself. Oh, more herbs. Wow. They're really riding it on, riding all the money on you just dying um, at the yawn fight, which luckily we didn't do. So two blue herbs. Let's mix one with the uh, uh, red and green, and the other one just with the green. Yeah, mix the herbs more. Okay, another blue. That saves up a lot of space. Now, basically, blue herbs like the book detailed are good against natural toxins. I don't know how zombie vomit. And, like, I understand the spider bites, but how is zombie vomit natural poison? Because it obviously came from the virus. Again, I'm thinking too hard about this. <laughs> I'll winch for the elevator. The elevator is down. Okay, and that's going to be our shortcut way later. Well, not way later. This came, like, pretty fast, an hour and a half, and I'm really taking my time. Like, really taking my time. So, oh yeah, the crank. So right now, it's just a crank, like it's just nothing important, but if you turn it this way, aha, uh -huh, it's in this square shape. And that is important. Like I said, this, that the room where I found it, this crank started the Resident Evil traditional cranks, which I'm really happy to see they're uh, still using uh, to this day in Resident Evil 7 and Resident Evil 2. Okay, in the remake of 2 you'd expect it, whereas in Resident Evil 7 they even make a joke about it, I guess. There's a square hole, which is pretty simple for now. When you have two cranks, ah, oh, that's something scary. See there, that, that is important, in case you haven't figured out. The water is running down the opposite side. Opposite to what? The, the pool? Opposite of the pool? What? Okay, so now we can cross here, but there's always a button in this game, literally and figuratively. There are poison eels or whatever here. Snakes, I guess? Yawns offspring? I always thought they're eels, but they could be snakes. Yeah, they're snakes, definitely. Now that I think about it, they must be snakes. <laughs> Still though, just keep moving and as long as you didn't jump at you, you're fine. Now in the next room... Room. Outside the roomy structure. We're gonna be more Cerberi. And I wonder if I'm safe here. I should be. Okay. Annoyed them. 
I hear another one running towards me. It's two wasted bullets. I'm not sure if that's the water making that something sound or or if it's another Cerberus. Oh, it's Cerberus. He's coming closer. Or not. I think he'll be, he'll be on the opposite side of, the, of this field thingy. You coming, dude? Here, doggy doggy. It seemed to work the last time, so let's try it again. Come here, doggy. Come on. I'd whistle, but I don't want to. Like, if you're wearing headphones, that's not going to sound nice. <laughs> okay, I'm going to be... I'm going to be one. I hear you. I have no idea where you're stuck at. But... Where are you? By the sound, I can't. I can't really judge if he's to the left of me, to the right of me. Oh fuck! It. I have enough. Herbs. Really? Okay, yeah, uh, okay, that's that's a dumb dog. Very dumb dog. No. How did that miss? Because you can't see where you're pointing your gun without the auto aim. I just can't forgive that they did that. Like, why would you do that? You could have made it... I don't know. I don't know, I'm not... I didn't make my own Resident Evil game yet, so I can't really judge, but... I get it, I get that they did it from, like, a selling perspective, but it really crippled the players here in the West. I mean, as a kid, you're not gonna beat this game easily, even with auto -aim. The water is running from the upper water passage. On the opposite side, <laughs> there's something in the back. It's called a grape, Joe. Yeah? Spending time with Barry is turning you into an infant as well. Some more dogs here, I believe. Yep. Oh, this is not good positioning, but okay. Okay, they're lined up well. One down. Two down. Now there could be a third one. No, I don't want to check the Beretta. Yeah, yeah, 9mm bullets. There could be a third one. I'm not sure. I have health and ammo. So. He doesn't scare me. More herbs. <laughs> After Jill Valentine has uh, survived the mansion incident, she was arrested for possessing about two kilos of dried up herbs <laughs> in paper leaves. Her colleagues rounded that pretty much. <laughs> Is there a dog there? I love how the sound changes, like, even with the fixed camera, you know where you are. You, you know where things are around you, because you can hear, like, oh, there's a zombie here, or there's one right here, you know, you, it gives you a fighting chance. Wow, so many herbs. I don't remember this game being so herbal. Okay, this is the room where we'll end our session. Oh yeah, we can't pick up anything. Gotta leave some items, Jill. Imagine all of this with Chris. Just just imagine. You don't have to you don't have to do it, just imagine it. I'm gonna do it eventually, but I have to do it. After, like, I, I feel so cocky now after surviving Yawn without saving. I was sure that I'm gonna be, need, like, a full fix or something. Gonna be, Barry's gonna be picking up my pieces, using them as bait, zombie bait. 
but apparently uh, it went well a lot better than I expected so I have this <laughs> newfound courage so I'll do this with Chris at one point as well why not yeah you can you don't have to Take the effet spray, yes. Alright, is there something there at the bottom of that shell? No, it just looks like there's something there. But there's nothing there. Okay, let's leave these puppies. Another <laughs> effet spray. Fuck it, spray. Yeah, well, I'm looking at their pictures when there's perfectly readable text that says which herb I'm currently manipulating. <laughs> Shotgun shells, bazooka explosive. Okay, so what I do want is to leave the crank and get the explosive rounds to mix them. I mean, at least you can mix them with each other. You don't have to... <laughs> you don't have to do that like with the bazooka it's just like why why can't you mix them why can't you just unload take these out here's the new rounds let's fight the fucking snake now somebody told me okay, yeah let's not make this possible because it wouldn't make sense maybe it's just technical limitations i mean it's a it's a miracle of a game for its time anyway so everything's forgiven that's it Wow, and there's a lot. Let's let's get those herbs. I don't want them. I don't want them waiting for the for the next time. And I want them here. I also want to plug this hole here. As you can see, I could play this game for hours and just not care. I, I see that it's almost been three hours and I feel that it's been like more, at most 30 minutes. Like now, that, now that I think about it, I remember everything I've done and how slowly I've done it, how I just relaxed. I keep doing it, but uh, I don't feel that it, so much time has passed because I'm really enjoying this. <laughs> Even after beating it for I don't know how many times I can't really like I said in the beginning maybe you heard me maybe you didn't because I had a slight audio issue with my capture card um, I have no idea you know how, how how hard it's gonna be with all the penalties with all the what do you call them handicaps and it's still very enjoyable like after 20 years well 20 for me 20 24 for the game effectively wow this game is 24 years old it can drive a car okay it can even own a house it can drink it can do whatever it wants because it's one grown-up game i love how the Sound ship is late for a second or so. <laughs> More green earth. Yes, look at this. Uh, the master of unlocking, and I'm training for a new discipline, master of medicinal herbs. I'm gonna go live with Aerith's mom from Final Fantasy VII. She seems to have, you know. Uh, excellent experience with <laughs> medicinal herbs so <laughs> why not we can join skills add master of unlocking to that that's one tough team man you don't fuck with those girls ah oh, let's go it's pretty good pretty good like i'm in the guardhouse this is alive and well <laughs> Let's stockpile these. Wow, look at that, yeah. That's how I finish every Resident Evil game. With a chest full of herbs. 
you know, I said I'm gonna end it right away, but just let's take five more minutes to check the room across if it can be unlocked at all. I'm not sure. I think it can, but yeah, it can. There could be a guy there or two, <clears throat> a zombie guy trying to hug me. Another excellent piece of music. Oh yeah, there is. Two, three, falling down. No, four, falling down. Nothing. And there's another one. Now it's time to bring the shotgun, I'd say. Let's spend a few more bullets on these guys, and then we're just gonna go shotgun from this on this from here on out. Come on, dude! I don't have time for this. Come on. Oh fuck! Wrong. Come on. One, two, three. Down. Yes. Thank you. They're at least predictable, somewhat. <laughs> they do have different sounds. This one sounded bored. Like, whoa. There could be one in the bathroom, and I'm gonna risk it. Just gonna get in there. I have enough herbs that I can just. I can smoke my life away, literally. I wouldn't even know if uh, if if any zombies would, you know, kill me because I'd be like, out of it. <laughs> There's a book. What is this? A red book. Oh, okay, I remember this as well. It's funny how when I see things, they are uh, they just they just come back to me. Open it up. All the pages are blank. What? What is it for? What's it for? Absolutely nothing. Well, actually, yeah, it's very useful to us because it's a special kind of book that can trigger a specific puzzle. No other book could do it. In a mansion that's... Yeah, this mansion is actually quite underbooked. Did I get the... Uh, courtyard map? Yeah, I did. So yeah, there's not much more there. and Still haven't gotten uh, the map of this guardhouse, but it's coming soon. Oh, no zombies, that's lovely. Lovely! Nothing major, just a minor toilet bowl. Nothing special, just a towel rack. The bathtub is filled with muddy water. Will you unplug it? <laughs> I guess we all love to listen to muddy waters unplug. Hey yo! <laughs> Okay, it's empty, you can peek inside. She was frozen on the spot by that <laughs> bathtub unplugging. Key. C room key, a key to enter the control room. Okay, yeah, that's better. So I'm 90% sure that in the director's cut version, this text right here is messed up. And instead of this, it gives a description of a different of an item other than the control room key something different i can't remember what i think it says like there's a carving of the moon or something like that and that puzzled me when i was a kid later i figured out why but i was like why what is it why is it important there's a moon on it whoop de do so this room is we're done with it we got the key and let's end it here, why not? Excellent, three hours in, one save. I mean, the time's gonna give me at least A, if not B, but I can't remember what the, what the exact values are, I'm gonna check that. But still, it's... Hmm. I think it's three, four hours for A. Or six, something like that. Doesn't matter. We'll find out. So for now, the book is a no. I just gotta remember I have it. And the uh, chrome key can also go because I need more space. And this is where we'll do a switch. A 
super switch. So 30, what's that, 35 rounds? And I think four. So I have about 40 shotgun shells. That's at least 40 zombies down. Why not? Why not? I believe I'm gonna need a pistol for bees because it's gonna hurt me to waste shotgun ammo on them, but yeah. I was actually healed by Barry, yeah, let's not forget that. So, ink ribbon. <laughs> I'm gonna go leave this and this and take that and also that. And that. Why the hell not? Okay. So inventory is okay. It's sorted. Uh, we have everything. The health. Ink ribbon. Let's make our first save. Four boats left. Shells, actually. You can save your progress with this. Will you use the ink ribbon? Well, yes. Thank you, kindly typewriter. Okay. <laughs> All right. And now I feel wow. What was that? Probably because I was like, now I feel safe about my game because it's saved. Let's end it here at this spot, and we'll return um, probably next week, next Saturday, unless I feel uh, I, I can't. <laughs> hold on that long and decide to continue tomorrow, but that's uh, not really likely. Uh, we'll see. Uh, everyone will be notified. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next week, same time. Bye for now.